Hello everyone. So in this example, uh, I am going to create one beautiful chart. Actually, uh, after this, I will create a dashboard. So in the dashboard, I will had, I will have multiple beautiful cards. So let's start with this card, and I am going to use all best practices to create card. Okay. So this is my. Uh, let me drag first. I want to create a card city store city number of order per store city order ID okay so, no, it should be count so I can see the number of uh, count for per store city so best practice will be like uh, mostly the user or management want to see like which city is doing best and which one is not doing best so best thing is to do sorting sorting descending so can see this uh, this one is have maximum number and this start like city have lower number okay now let me remove this control first here mm. Okay, so this one I am showing for previous year, but let me add for all line. Okay, now we have to give the labels value scale X, value scale Y, category scale X in a category. I need to give the city name because uh, everyone uh, don't know about like what are the data we, ha we are showing. So we need to give the label when i sort city when i uh, given city uh, now city is reflecting here so these are the city name and this what are these value like it can be price it can be profit it can be anything no one know the value is reflecting here what is the value what kind of value this is so we need to give some appropriate label like this is total order quantity so let's give the value total order quantity so we can see this total order quantity is reflecting here city reflecting here so it means total order quantity by city the data is showing total order quantity by city so based on that we should give the proper name also total order by city based on the data i have given a appropriate name now um, it is not showing data without hovering so i need to go to the data label i need to give a uh, value let's see now the value is showing so it is looking good for me but uh, we have the option to align the value either inside the chart or outside the chart okay so mm -mm. and this is the bar uh, width so we can reduce and we can play with this like what kind of what will what would be the appropriate size of this bar width percentage let me reduce to 75 and let's see how does it looks no it's not a more change so when we have a multiple value in uh, our category or can say here in x axis then this time i think uh, we should reduce the width let's go with the 50 percentage yes and we can change the color also based on anything like based on uh, required requirement on can say anything like um, if we think uh, we have better color then we can change this column name what column we are using here store city so let's select the store city see where is the store city this one is the store city fill let me give this color now again data is not reflecting because the bar color and text color both are similar if we give outside top then it should show yes 
for me this color is looking good but uh, you have the option to ch uh, choose any kind of color and if the color are not available you can uh, write a color code like we can uh, get the color from anywhere and uh, just need to give the color code that's it and color rule is, uh, we can define using column like we can select any of the columns and can define the color rule and summary numbers would be appropriate so here uh, it should be like uh, total order quantities order id where is the order id store should be store order id so this is the sum of order id so let's keep total order id total order total order now we have a good summary here now we should give some proper description also proper description like whatever we have done in the card so for the proper description i have the notes let me uh, go through that what should be the proper description for the card this one like uh, first it should be like business initiative why what are the business initiative initiative are uh, like why we have created this card the card strategic importance what is the importance of this card action the user can take based on that card like while seeing the data of card what are the action can you user can take helpful alerts so, so after creating the card uh, i will create alert on that so this will i this alert part i will cover in another section the date range we have to describe like card have what like how long data we are keeping in the card if we have a drill then we have to define the drill like in the drill what data we are going to see so everything like this business initiative this requirement you will get from the users and st strategic importance also you will get from the user like how important uh, this card and then action like what action user are going to take so this information also we will get from the users only and but after getting the information while getting the requirement we have to keep this this information and we have to put in card description and then a helpful alert so this one also we have to ask to user like uh, when do you want any alert or not alert means like if some changes in data like um, let me go to the card so here we are seeing um, we have maximum 12144 order and minimum 1337 order for salt lake city so we can create alert like if uh, the value go below to this low or value go like too high to this max then users should be alerted like yeah they are doing more better or they are doing less better or they have any anomalies in da data because it might be the uh, um, there can be wrong data in our data set so for this kind of situation user must be notified so we can we had to clear create alert and this one i will cover in alert section so this is all about to create a basics card so i will create some more cards and then we will design a dashboard and dashboard uh, is just collection of cards so that we will start in another lecture thank you